found love in the streets because uh, I wasn't getting no love from home. I never heard I love you. I was a good kid, uh, A's and B's and went to school, um, never missed class and life happened. My mom cheated on my dad and that messed, that messed everything up. Uh, so I seek the gang life. They show me love, like what's, you know, um, in women and drugs, drinking, you know, trying to fill the void, y'all. I, I really didn't know what gang was, kind of like, it was, I, I always thought gang was stupid, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, until I started like, you know, the life, the environment start to pull you in. But uh, I rem I met my big bro in them. They're from Cali. Some Cali guys came down to Texas trying to run things. And I remember the, uh, the, my big bro in them, they were like, man, why are you chilling with these, these losers, man? They ain't about money. They just about, you know, saying wilding out. Like some dude owed my big bro money. We was trying to uh, look at, uh, find the dude. We found, uh, we sent the word out. Uh, we got a call talking about, hey man, dude about to pull up. And then we pulled up first and we we plotted against him. We was trying to kill the dude, you know. Where it changed was we shot the dude point. We did like, we shot up his car point blank and then the dude didn't get hit. He didn't get hit, he didn't die. And that's, that's what led me to praying to God. And, and, and it's not just that. I think a, a lot of things was happening in my life as in I was dating this woman. Uh, she was four months pregnant. She had abortion, and it hurt me, man, because you know that wasn't my choice. She she chose to kill the baby. So uh, around that time, uh, crying out to God, cause I was just really hopeless, y'all. There wasn't like nothing else, you know. What I'm saying when you done nothing else, you are gonna call out to something. So I called out to God, like, Hey, Lord, if you're real, show up. So they charged me with uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. So they gave me five years probation, which is a blessing, right? Uh, they sent me to community service at the church. Um, I violated uh, my community service. And I ain't doing my hours and I ain't paying my, my money. I really didn't care, truthfully. The day I got locked up was my little brother, he took me to my probation officer. And I remember the officer was like, hey son, uh, get up, put your hands behind your back. And I looked at her and I was like, why'd you do this? And she's like, I had to, you, I gave you so many chances. My five years started that day, uh, August 19th, 2006. So once I got out of prison 2011, this is where uh, my life started to change. Like I, I got baptized and I ain't gonna lie y'all, once I got baptized, like I surrender and, and did it in front of everybody, my life started to change y'all. Like straight up, my life's, God started working my life. It's not easy being a Christian, y'all. It's hard, but I, I promise, man, it's the best thing y'all could ever do, is give your life to Christ. Jesus in my place means to me, man, that man, I was once just broken and a gang member, a drug dealer, and, and but yet he loved me so much where he, he, he died for me. 